Hello everyone, it's Carl again. I thought I'd do a quick video um, just of an FBA shipment that's getting sent and uh, and some Thomas trains and um, other toys and stuff that perhaps someone can give me a bit of advice on how to pack, but um, well not how to pack, but how to sell. Uh, firstly, I'll do a bit of the FBA shipment. I think it's like 75 items, um, books and games. Uh, books. Mostly non-fiction again. There's a few fiction in there we started sending in just, uh, you know, because we pay such little price, even if we're making a pound or two, um, we can send it in and just leave it. The storage fees are like a penny a month, so we can wait a year and spend 12p on storage. So, you know, the £2.80 and the £2.50 FBAs can sell out, hopefully, and uh, and we can sell we can sell for the higher price. Um, who knows if if they don't sell and there's a constant stream of £2.50 FBAs coming in, then um, then we'll either just, well, we'll probably destroy it, uh, you know, in a year or two, you, you know, at worst we're losing 25p, so it's a risk worth taking to make a couple of pounds. Uh, some of the books, there's an art book here, Softly Wakes the Dawn, sorry, no, this uh, photography all about um, nature, which uh, says uh, an East Anglian year of nature, uh, that came up as that come up as a good price. Uh, some of the normal health ones, health and cooking. A lot of cookery books don't seem to do that well unless they're very new. And as long as they're not the very famous one like Jamie Oliver and uh, Nigella Lawson, out, they don't tend to be um, very good. But newer ones that are not as popular tend to, uh, you know, hold a bit of value. You've got the complete nutritional, uh, the complete guide to nutritional health, the Curry Bible, um, which looks quite interesting, the Contented Cook. And then the ones that we always seem to get, things like napkin folding, needlework, like arts and crafts and stuff. Um, these books tend to do quite well as well. Your House in Needlepoint, Elaine McCready's Needlepoint, Animation Writing and Development. Um, yeah, really good condition that as well. That's um, that's like new. It's just got all about um, animation, how to develop it and writing stories. Day of the Dead. I'm not really sure what it's about. A pictorial archive of Dia de los Muertos. But um, there's a CD-ROM in there, which is in there. And it's lots of uh, crazy, crazy artwork, all of skeletons and stuff. But it come up, I, I don't can't remember how much it's up for, but I think it's quite a, quite a nice price and it's excellent condition. So, yeah, that's going in, the Day of the Dead. And then the usual uh, child ones, um, they always seem to do quite well as long as they're not too old. Make your child brilliant, uncovering your child's hidden gifts. Super nutrition for babies. Baby and Child Healthcare. This is quite nice. Prince of Persia Collector's Edition. This is for the computer game. Um, and you can see here, I haven't opened, I'm not going to open it either, but there's some nice prints in here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're just posters or photos or what, but it's still sealed. I, I don't want to open it. Um, and it's just a guide to the computer game, um, step by step with all screenshots and stuff. But this, you know, it's really excellent condition. Uh, an Imperial War Museum, um, a book about the history and stuff like that, things that have gone on. That's, that surprised me. I thought that was a, uh, we get a lot of National Trust <coughs> catalogues and uh, not catalogues, but guides and things like that. And they don't tend to do very well. So um, when I first looked at that, I just thought it was going to be another one then. But no, it came up and uh, it might be about 10 or 12 pounds. Holy Bible. Some seem to hold a bit of money. This is about 12 pound, I think. Some are terrible. The Selfish Pig's Guide to Caring. Writing your dissertation. A lot of studying books. Obviously, textbooks, everyone knows, do quite well. But um, other guides to helping people um, do their studying rather than the actual textbooks seem to seem to do quite well. Boat Electrical Systems by Dag Pike. That uh, looks too complicated for me. I'm not an electrics man. But uh, that's a good one. Good Mountain Biking Guide. Just uh, lots of courses and mountain biking trails to do. That's holding its price. I don't know what this is. Master of Love and Mercy by Cheng Yen. Um, yeah. it's. Uh, I'm not sure if it's fiction or not, but I had a quick flick through. I haven't had time to read anything. But uh, History of the Second World War. A lot of military history. Military history always do, uh, always do quite well. Sands of Silence on safari in Namibia. A bit of writing in there and a bit of ink damage so yeah it was labeled as i think i put it as acceptable but um or good with damaged pages but um 
yeah, it looks like it's got some uh, interesting pictures in there. So someone who's uh, been on Safari, I think that's quite a good price as well. Uh, I got lots of games as well that are going today. True or false? Drinking games, that's brand new and sealed. Mastermind, the classic. A Risk, which was up for quite a nice price. QI, the board game. I haven't seen that before, but yeah, it's up for about £12, I think. Battle of the Sexes. Trivial Pursuit DVD. It's not a very good price, but it's better to send it in than just have it sitting at home. Trivial Pursuit 20th Anniversary. And we just actually sold Trivial Pursuit 80s this afternoon. Uh, Charades, the classic. CSI, which is brand new and sealed still. Um, Thought Exchange, which I hadn't come across before. This is new and sealed, and it's, it's a decent price. Um, win, lose, or draw. Um, and obviously, the what I mentioned in the last video, the Las Vegas Monopoly, but that has come up as going with the other games to the other warehouse. The shipment's been split, so I've just been building up these. I might put them in a smaller box now. There's a few there, but I had like two or three there for a while. So it wasn't worth sending on their own. Um, that's the rest of the books that are going. Um, you know, mostly non-fiction, but there was two games that aren't going with this lot. Um, Bargain Hunt the Game, no instructions with it. Everything else is excellent. Look online, and there seems to be a lot of people that have this game, but no instructions. But there's nowhere to get instructions from. Um, I can't see anyone selling any. I went to, done a bit of research on Upstarts, and they nearly went um, bankrupt in 2007, I believe. But now the website didn't seem to work or anything, so I'm going to have to put that on eBay just with no instructions. And if we can't find it anywhere, I'm not sure how. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be any use in the end. And then this one, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory board game, which I've never seen before, but um, really good condition. And uh, yeah, but I, that was the last one I was doing, and uh, and I wondered why it didn't have a label for it when I was labelling up the shipment. And because it's the last one, I checked it all and, ba and polybagged it. And uh, and then I realised that I hadn't actually listed it. So when I printed out the shipment, the uh, that one was still left at the end. So that will just go in with the next shipment, um, whenever that will be. Let's go over and show, have a look at this, the Thomas stuff. Now, we bought this. You can see it here. Um, we paid £15 for all of this. It was in this box from a charity shop. Um, £15 for everything. We thought, yep, why not? Um, but we didn't know how to sell it. We put a couple of these on by individually for, I think, £5. Um, but none of them have sold. And I've just got the, the box has been buried at my house. So um, I went and got it out. I thought, right, we'll dig it out. We'll take a few photos and have a look and start, you know, trying to work through things that uh, to get things listed now that are building up. And I'll, I'll do a video of my pile of shame soon, which is which is horrendous. It's, uh, it's you know, it's over knee height of just books and games and stuff like that. But... Um, so I was wondering if anyone's had any experience with this. What you know, should I do small bundles? Um, do the whole lot as a job lot. Um, break it up into, you know, just the track together, the buildings together. But like you can see, we've got some nice, decent towers and um, other buildings, platforms and bridges. Even a pallet there and a telephone sign. But then yeah, back controller. There's a, you know, there's there's a there's a decent amount of trains. A big pile of track. Harold the helicopter. Um, so yeah, any advice would be greatly appreciated. Because um, it's all it's all Gullane, it says on the back. Um, I don't know if you can see it, if it will focus. They are. Gullane Thomas Limited, 2004. Uh, they're all plastic, apart from this one. This one seems to have a battery in it, and it's Tommy um, with an on, on and off switch on the top. So I'm not sure what that does itself, but uh, that's the only metal one there. All the rest are plastic. Um, but yeah, any ideas or uh, anyone experience would be uh, a massive help. And uh, that'll do for now. I'll try and get another video up soon of something that I do. I'm always busy, so um, hopefully we'll get something up. If you've got any questions or anything about anything uh, I do or I've said, feel free to ask. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, wherever you want. Let's uh, hopefully keep making some money. So I'll see you all soon. Cheers.